Turn on Arduino light. OK. Hello, I'm Martin Looker from Silicon Labs. In this quick start video, I'll get you up and running developing matter over thread applications in the Arduino IDE on Silicon Labs wireless microcontrollers. I'll walk you through the installation of the Silicon Labs core that supports the microcontrollers and also matter over thread and Bluetooth. We'll also take a quick look at an example application including the code and how it works. During this video, I'll be using an Amazon Echo Show device, but I'll mute the audio where I say the keyword. You can find links to all the resources used in this video in the video description. To begin, you'll need to download and install the Arduino IDE, if you don't already have it. You can download and install it from Arduino software page. You'll find a link to this page and to the other resources I use in this video in the video description. Once you have the Arduino IDE installed, you'll need to visit the Silicon Labs Arduino repository on GitHub. In the README, you can find information on the supported boards. Note that at the time of making this video, only two of these boards support matter over thread the SparkFun Thing Plus MGM240P and the Silicon Labs XG24 Explorer Kit. We'll be adding matter support for more boards over the coming months, including a new nano format board from Arduino. The other two boards support BLE only, but I'll quickly show you how to get started with BLE only development during this video. There are also instructions on how to install the Silicon Labs Arduino core into the Arduino IDE, which I'll walk you through next. Begin by making a copy of the URL, which we'll be entering into the IDE's settings. Over in the Arduino IDE, select Preferences from the File menu. On the Settings tab, press the button next to the Additional Boards Manager URLs. Paste the URL you copied into this list, making sure it's on its own line, and click the OK button, followed by the OK button on the Preference window. With the URL entered into the settings, the core can be installed from the Boards Manager, which can be opened with this button on the left-hand side. In the Boards Manager, enter Silicon Labs into the search box. Then click the Install button to install the core. The Boards Manager panel can be closed by clicking on the button again. Let's take a quick look at the boards that support matter over thread and see how to configure them for use in the Arduino IDE. The first is the Silicon Labs XG24 Explorer Kit. This low cost board has two buttons and two LEDs, but is easily expandable using the micro bus and quick connectors. There are also holes on each side where header pins or sockets can be fitted to provide access to most of the pins on the microcontroller. The second is the Thing Plus MGM240P board from SparkFun. This has a single onboard user LED and a quick connector for expansion, in addition to holes for mounting headers. This board also has a connector for a rechargeable battery and a micro SD slot on the rear. This is the board I'll be using in this video. With the board connected to my PC, I can configure the Arduino IDE to make use of it. This is done from the drop down in the IDE's toolbar by selecting Select Other Board and Port. First is to identify the board type on the left hand side. If you're using the XG24 Explorer kit, you can begin by typing XG24 into this box. For the SparkFun board, you can enter SparkFun. Each of these boards has four variants, two for BLE and two for matter over thread. And each of these pairs comes in two flavors, a pre-compiled version where many modules are ready compiled to speed up compilation of your own application. Or you can choose a non pre-compiled version to fully compile all the modules. The use of these different variants is also described in the GitHub readme. The variant selected determines the wireless libraries and example applications that are made available for use when developing in the Arduino IDE. 
If you want to create Bluetooth only applications, you can select one of the BLE variants. I'm going to select the Matter pre-compiled variant for use in this video. Once the variant is selected, the serial port for the board should be selected on the right hand side and the OK button clicked to apply the configuration. If you want to swap between variants in the future, you can use the drop down and click the edit button next to your configured board. If you search for the board type once again, you'll then have the option to choose a different variant for that board and click OK to continue. The Matter Over Thread examples can be accessed from the Arduino IDE's menu. Select File, Examples and Matter. As you can see, there are a wide range of examples. The simplest ones to work with are the Matter light bulb and the Matter dimmable light bulb. These will use one of the onboard LEDs to illustrate the device's operation. But using an onboard LED isn't particularly interesting for a video. So instead, I'm going to create the color bulb example. The color bulb example is written to make use of WS2812 RGB LEDs using the Easy WS2812 library. I'm going to make use of a ring from Adafruit with 12 LEDs. To connect to the Spark from board, the power input on the ring is connected to the pin marked VU on the Spark from board. This is the voltage from the USB input and so provides 5 volts. The input pin on the ring is connected to the C3 pin on the Spark from board. This is the data line used to control the LEDs. Finally, the ground pins on both boards are connected together. If you are using the XG24 Explorer kit, you can connect to sockets on the microbus connector. The 5 volt socket can be used for power, the MOSI socket should be hooked up to the input on the ring, and there is also a ground socket to complete the wiring. Before I compile and flash the code, I want to quickly show you how to fully erase a chip as matter credentials are stored there and you'll want to clear them if experimenting with different types of matter devices on the same board or if you are swapping between matter and bluetooth applications if you've already flashed software into your board either using our simplicity studio ide or have been using circuit python you'll want to complete this step before continuing for now you'll need to download the simplicity commander gui from the silicon labs website to erase the flash memory. Once unzipped, the commander.exe file can be run. Select the device from the drop down in the select kit option and select the flash icon and then use the erase chip button to erase the whole flash. When working with Matter and Bluetooth applications, you'll need to program a bootloader binary in addition to the application binary. After erasing the whole chip, both of these will need to be reburned. If you erase the device that has been commissioned into a matter network, you should also remove the device using the ecosystem's controls. We'll look at adding a way to erase either the whole flash or the matter data from flash via the Arduino IDE in a future update to make this more convenient. I mentioned bootloaders a moment ago. So let's get the bootloader for Matter applications programmed into the Spark from board. First, the command line version of Simplicity Commander, which is installed with the Arduino library, needs to be selected from the Tools Programmer menu. You should only need to do this once for each board, as it will be associated with the serial port assigned. Then, the bootloader can be programmed by selecting Tools, Burn Bootloader. You'll only need to do this once unless you are swapping between BLE and Matter variants, where you will need to reburn a bootloader after swapping as the Matter and Bluetooth applications use different bootloaders. Let's take a quick look through the code to explain how the color bulb sketch is put together. The sketch starts with the header files. There is a header file for shared Matter functionality and also one specific to Matter light bulbs. The final header is for the WS2812 drivers used to control the LED ring. This is installed as part of the Silicon Labs Arduino core and makes use of the SPI SDO line 
connected to the C3 pin as the data line for LED control. Next is the creation of objects used by the sketch, starting with the creation of a matter colour light bulb, which encapsulates the operation of this type of device. A WS2812 object is also created. The lead ring I'm using has 12 LEDs rather than the 8 defined here, so I'm going to update it before continuing. In the setup function, which is called once to handle the startup of an Arduino application, the matter library and colour light bulb objects are initialised. The LED ring is also initialised and all the LEDs turned off. Interrupts are disabled when writing to the LED ring as the data signals need to be timed precisely. If the matter device is not commissioned into the network, some data is output to the serial port, including a URL to a QR code to aid commissioning the device into a matter network. Or the manual pairing code can be used, which is also output here. Next, there is a while loop that runs while waiting for the device to be commissioned. For this sketch, processing continues in the setup function until the device is commissioned into a network. The commission state of the device is stored in flash and when restarting a device, these if and while statements will be skipped over on startup. Next, there is a similar test to check and wait for a connection to the thread network. When restarting a device that is already commissioned, the code will remain in this loop until it is reconnected. For matter applications, processing continues in the setup function until the device is commissioned and connected to a network. Then we move on to the loop function, which is called repeatedly and contains the main operation of the application whilst connected to a network. It begins with a static variable to store the last known state of the light. This is whether the light is on or off and is initialized to false. The current state of the light is read from the matter color bulb object. Next, an if statement checks whether the light has been turned on since the previous call to the loop function. If it has changed, the current state is transferred to the static last state variable ready for the next iteration and the LEDs are updated by calling the update LEDs function. Next, we have similar code to react to the light being turned off. In this case, the LEDs are turned off directly instead of making use of the update LEDs function, as the last set color is preserved in the matter color bulb object's data. Next, we have similar code checking for changes to the hue, saturation and brightness of the bulb. If any of these values are changed, the update LEDs function is also called. If the bulb is in the off state when these values change, it is automatically moved to the on state in addition to changing the bulb's colour values. Here, we are essentially polling the matter colour bulb object, which is updated by commands through the matter network, and reacting to any changes by updating the hardware and setting the LEDs appropriately to match. The final function, update LEDs, retrieves the RGB values from the matter colour bulb object and applies them to the LEDs making use of the WS2812 library. To compile and upload the application, I can click the Upload button on the toolbar. Note that currently you should only have one Silicon Labs based board connected to your PC when programming, as the Flash programmer used doesn't currently offer a way to select between different connected boards. Now we have the colour bulb programmed and running, we can commission it into a matter network. I'm going to add it into my Amazon network. If you want to join a device to Google Home, you'll need to enable the test certificate we use in these example devices in the Google Developer Console. There is a quick start video showing how to do this linked in the video description. First, I'm going to enable the serial monitor in the Arduino IDE and reset the board to get the URL for the QR code I'll be using to commission the device, which we can copy and paste into a browser for scanning. I have an Amazon Echo Show 8 third generation, which will act as my thread border router for the Matter network. Commissioning takes place from the mobile app. Begin by going to the Devices tab, 
and clicking Add Device. In the list of devices, scroll to the bottom and select Other. And then select Matter. Click Yes when asked if the device has a Matter logo. And also to say that it's powered on. Then click Scan QR Code. You can then scan the QR code from the web browser. If prompted, select the Amazon network To complete the setup once the light is found, begin with the light device and click Setup Device. Here you can assign it to a group if you want to. Matter devices created in the Arduino IDE actually show up as two devices, a hub type device and the light type device I just set up. This is due to the Arduino Matter library dynamically allocating endpoints and the hub type device is required by Amazon and Apple systems when allocating endpoints in this way. So we also need to complete the setup for the hub type device. If you want to, you can rename the light by selecting it, going into the settings, and clicking Edit Name under the existing name. Let's call this one Arduino Light. Let's return to the main controls for the light. The light can then be controlled through the app, turning it on and off. We can also adjust the brightness with the slider. And if we go into the color settings, we can change the color of the light. I can also use voice commands via my Echo Show. Set Arduino light to red. Okay. We've now reached the end of this quick start video and you should be ready to start developing Matter over Thread applications in the Arduino IDE using Silicon Labs connected microcontrollers. As a reminder, you can find links to all the resources I showed during this video in the video description. Thanks for watching. Turn off Arduino Light. Okay.